Is it working? Alright. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, let me mute this. Just got back from the gym. Uh, I had class and work this morning. And on Tuesdays, you guys know I have a big break between my last class and my second class. So, like, between 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, I have a four-hour break. So, that's what I used to go to the gym before I go back after my last class, which is at 9 o'clock for my second workout of the day. But anyway, so I'm using the opportunity to, um, I started to go back from the gym, so I'm going to use the opportunity to cook. I was really tempted to go to the buffet because it's only like $5, but right now I'm really conscious about, you know, getting a lot of um, healthy foods into my diet. Now, a lot, I know a lot of people say all oh, calories, all calories are the same, blah, blah, blah. The reason why I disagree with that statement is because even though on a molecular level, yes, it breaks down the carbs and protein and stuff like that, vitamins and you guys know I'm very big on vitamins and you don't get your essential vitamins and minerals from mostly junk foods you know what I'm saying and yeah I, I have supplements and I have vitamins but like I said I only use those as spare tires I only use my supplements when I didn't eat enough fruits or veggies for the day but if I can I try to avoid the supplements that focus on you know real food like right now I'm about to cook right now I'm making some rice like I said I made a decision to drop out a fast food place it's very tempting because then after the, after the gym you're very uh, you really want carbs, but you know, discipline got to start somewhere. So right now I'm cooking some rice, about two cups of rice. I'm steaming some carrots because I'm about to make some spinach stew to eat with my rice. Uh, I got some lentils on the side. I'm I'm gonna boil. I'm chopping right now. I'm chopping up onions. I was gonna make a video, but I realized, like, you know what? I'm bored. Usually when I'm cooking, I'm doing a lot of things at once, and I'm watching a video of like a, um, a bodybuilder documentary, it could be Lee, you know, uh, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Philly, whatever. Even if I watch the documentary uh, already, I'm always watching documentary documentaries when I'm washing dishes or cooking. It's always it's like two, three birds with one stone because there's always something that you forgot to, to pick up on the last time you watch it, you know, and I'm always feeding my brain with information instead of just sitting here singing. But anyway, uh, so right now, um, yeah, the carrots are steaming, the rice is cooking, uh, I got the the fish, the salmon. By the way, I suppose I'm gonna get. I got the salmon in the water, so it's thrown out. I'm gonna put it on the George Foreman grill. I'm gonna heat it up in a second. Um, I got the chicken for tomorrow. The chicken is for tomorrow. So right now I'm just like throwing it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna brine it up and put it in the fridge overnight so I can cook it tomorrow. And um, yeah, right now I'm chopping some onions for the stew. Oh yes, it's about time to put the spinach in. All I do is I throw the carrots in there. I steam it for a bit so the carrots get soft because I like my carrots really, really tender. And I throw in the spinach. I'm getting my money's worth. Fucking I'm here. I throw in the spinach. I throw in the olive oil. Oh shit, I heard a sound, I thought the memory card. Everything I cook gotta have olive oil in it, everything. I'm trying to be like the like the Greeks and the Spartans. They understood the importance of olive oil. Even the Egyptians did that. Um and I add my seasoning. Salt. Garlic powder, black pepper, and just a little bit of onion powder because I, I might throw some onions in there later on. Next up, I use my broken ass, uh, whatever you want to call it. Kind of stir it up before I add more water. It kind of looks like this for now. Next, I'm going to put one tablespoon of tomato paste to have that tomato flavor. It's a big spoon. I'm going to mix it up. With all the seasoning I put in. Taste. 
Make sure there's enough salt. I'm gonna add more anyway after I put the water in. All right, once that's done, grab your cup of water and put uh, just enough to meet your preference, depending on how much, uh, if, you want your, if you want yours to be really thick or, or watery. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you can see. For this particular sauce, I actually want it to be really thick, so I'm not gonna put too much water. Just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. I wanna unbutton your pants just a little bit. Take them off and put them down just a little bit. Just put enough water so that when you cover it up and it starts to boil, you can hear the water, you know, bubbling. And leave it like that for like five minutes. And when you when you when you're cooking, if you don't like cleaning your kitchen and you use spatulas or whatever, try putting them on like napkins. You know what I'm saying? Like just put napkins on, on the counter, put them on the napkin so that you don't you don't uh, everything everything's clean. By the way, in the oven I also have a a sweet potato that's baking. I'm gonna bake it for like an hour, probably more than an hour. I like mine, like I say, really tender. And I also have some some um, some bread rolls in there. For later on tonight, when I start backloading, like I said, I, I backload before every workout. That's the most important thing I call backloading is you want to eat a lot of carbs the night before your next workout. For many reasons, I'm not gonna go into the details again. But um, on the days that I don't work out, I mean on the days that I'm not gonna work out the next day, I try not to backload a lot. That's, a, that's the only reason why you need carbs, fellas, is, is to give you enough energy to last through long, grueling workouts. If you're not working out, then I. Your fats should give you way, you know, way more than enough energy. All right, that's what I'm cooking right now. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta heat up the George Foreman grill for the salmon. And that's it, man. Making a quick vlog, showing you guys what I'm doing. Not special about the video. Hope you guys are out there dominating your day. Team 3D Alpha. Like my shit. <laughs>